What's up, everyone? I am back with the NASM Chapter 11 Study Guide. On um, these, the series, I just read the study guide out loud, chapter by chapter. And this chapter is the first chapter of the section entitled Assessment. So this is a very important chapter. Um, I know the NASM exam is a heavy focus on the overhead SWOT assessment, various other assessments that they uh, recommend a personal trainer puts their clients through to screen them to see uh, you know what postural distortions they have um, any movement issues you know just important data to collect from a client before you take them on and start designing new programs so this is an important section and this chapter is the last chapter that's going to be kind of the easy one going into our next chapters they're going to be much more difficult and a lot more complicated and a lot more important to know for the test but uh, then my next few videos are going to be like need to know i'm going to be trying to put a lot more work into them so uh if you watch this one please check out the next videos that i'll post but without further ado let's get into chapter 11 which is health wellness and fitness assessments <clears throat> the general purposes of conducting physiological assessments are to collect baseline data to help a fitness professional develop personalized exercise programs the vrq is considered an appropriate minimal screening tool for conducting a hra fitness professionals should also gather additional information through the use of hhq that may prove useful in selecting fitness assessments, designing exercise programs, and monitoring progress. Um, important note, so, you know, I'm studying along with you on this. Um, so some of these terms, you know, I've learned them and I've already forgot what, like HRA, I forgot what that specifically stands for. And um, as you've probably already seen, I'm, I'm gonna put uh, little boxes of text like with, that'll explain. The HHQ includes information about a client's medical history injuries, surgeries, medications, and chronic disease, and lifestyle habits, e.g. exercise, diet, sleep, and stress. So that tells us what the HHQ does, but not specifically which HHQ stands for. Resting and exercise heart rate and blood pressure response provide valuable information pertaining to health risks and training adaptations. There are many anatomical locations that can be used to measure clients' RHR. However, for accuracy, safety, and the ease of administrating, NASM recommends that you that a fitness professional measure a client's radial pulse. That's just right there, baby. Um, blood pressure, BP, is defined as the outward pressure exerted by blood on the arterial walls. BP scores are important because higher scores indicate greater risk of developing cardiovascular disease, which can become life-threatening. A normal BP, sorry, I didn't know if I was recording or not. Um, a, uh, a normal BP reading is less than 120 slash 80 mmHg. Again, I'm sure I learned that in high school, but I don't know it now, so that will be going up on the screen. Um, anthropometry is the field of study of the measurement of living human humans for the purposes of understanding physical variations in size, weight, and proportions. And that word was anthropometry. Anthropometry is the field of study of the measurement of living humans for the purposes of understanding physical variations in size, weight, and proportion. Many different anthropedic measures exist, including body fat assessments, BMI, and circumference measurements. Anthropometric measurements provide useful information related to predicting a client's risk for mortality and morbidity. There are many methods for measuring a client's body fat percentage, including underwater wing, skin fold measurements, and bioelectrical <laughs> impedance analysis. While all methods are valid for ease, ease of use, bioelectrical impedance is arguably the most popular method in fitness facilities. And um, what's his name? Um, for Trivium Physique, Igor uh, just you know touched on this on, on one of his videos where he, uh, I believe he just got tested using, um, what was it? I forgot what the machine is, but I'll, uh, again, editing that, we'll put a screen grab of what the machine I'm talking about is. Um, and it's supposed to be the most accurate, but Again, like between measuring on all these sophisticated uh, methods, like um, skin fold, um, stepped into that machine, I'm forgetting the water. I, I believe it was a Vitruvian. It, it could have been some other natty guy that tested all these uh, measurements or ways of measuring body fat, and he ultimately came ultimately came to the conclusion that his this freaking body weight scale that happens to have a, a estimate of body fat percentage did the most accurate and consistent job of measuring body fat throughout the years, weeks, and days. So again, with those body fat stuff, like it's important to take with a grain of salt, all these different measurement methods, 
especially even if you do the, you know, the measurements around the legs, and I've done that, vastly different numbers than uh, what I get on the scale. Cardiorespiratory, fit, uh, cardiorespiratory assessments help the fitness professional identify safe and effective starting exercise intensities, as well as appropriate modes of cardiorespiratory exercise for clients. Examples of cardiorespiratory assessments include VO2 max testing, the YMCA, uh, YMCA three minute step test, Rockport test, and the 1.5 mile run test. So they haven't given us definitions of what those tests are, how to perform them, but all of which are extremely important when you're studying for the exam. So when we go over them and we see them, I will make sure to highlight them extensively and go over them, link my Quizlet, you know, everything that I can do to help us set, uh, pass this exam. In addition, it requires the client to exert maximal effort. Cons uh, consequently, this test is not okay. consequently this test is not commonly used outside of exercise laboratories or medical facilities. The talk test is an informal cardiorespiratory assessment used to gauge the intensity of a cardiorespiratory activity based on the client's ability to hold a conversation. The VT1 test is an incremental test performed on any device, a treadmill, body, that gradually progresses in intensity and level and relies on the interpretation of how a person talks to determine a specific event on which the body's metabolism undergoes a significant change. A key point of this protocol is to remember that it is an aerobic test that aims to estimate the intensity where the body is using a balance of fuels, 50% fat, 50% carbohydrates. Um, again, that part's gonna trip me up. Uh, it's just giving me the example of uh, whether or not it's, the percentage are tripping me up. But uh, the VT, VT2 talk test measures the intensity where the body can work at its highest sustainable steady rate intensity for more than a few minutes. Again, so this has uh, like hints at a lot of really important concepts for you to know. But again, I don't think it, uh, it's, uh, it's not the meat. We're not in the meat yet. And I believe on this next chapter, we will. So chapter two, posture, movement, and performance assessment. Guys, um, I'm gonna really have to step up my game, increase my knowledge so I can spread it all to my fellow NASM study guy, studiers. Because um, this is gonna be heavy stuff and I imagine, I could be wrong, a lot of people are gonna be searching this up. It'd be awesome if you guys studying for this along with me would uh, find my video and I could be any help to anyone else studying for this exam because we're all in for this together. We'll see how it goes guys. Um, thank you for watching. This video is a lightly soft, soft sponsorship by me. Uh, it's a pump cover that I made. Uh, I'll link it down in the description if you want it. I think it's kind of crispy, but uh, everything's still in kind of like beta testing. So that's why it's a soft sponsorship and it's for sale if you guys want to check it out. But uh, today that's that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram, it's rad that fit. Also in the description. Um, have a wonderful day.